first vote. I still get nervous at this time. Russell. He was the biggest snake, and it was awesome. So today we are going to be covering the reality show Survivor. Oh, yes. Have you seen Survivor? Are you a fan of the show? I was a fan the very first, from the very beginning, 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 and watched every episode. My every wife w follows it. That mean I don't have a choice. <laughs> I love the show. I would never go on it, though. No, I'll just watch people play it. So you were actually contested on Survivor. What was your experience like? Uh, it's more like a like a love-hate relationship. You starve out there, you suffer out there, but it's also like hardship. Like if you push through it, it's, it's like the greatest feeling ever. If you know me from Survivor, you probably don't remember me. I was a very early boot. Unfortunately, I'm still like scarred from it. And it was one of the best experiences that I could have ever gone through. So we will be showing you Survivor host Jeff Probst's top 10 favorite moments in Survivor history. And we want to see if you can correctly guess his rankings in order from one to 10. Oh boy, that's going to be hard. I guess I should be paying more attention to what Jeff is saying. Um, he's been doing this for so, so long. It's crazy. As a heads up, this list was published in 2017 by Jeff Probst, so it won't include the most recent seasons. Okay, that's probably better for me. So we're gonna hop into the ranking in just a moment, but we wanted to point out that today's episode was selected by one of the Diamond members of our FB super fam, Whoa. Tanner. Okay, Tanner, all right, I'm with it. So here we have a clip from Tanner. Cool. Hey guys, I'm Tanner Pichro, and I am part of the FB super fam. And I would like you guys to react to the reality TV show Survivor. Enjoy. Good choice. Bravo. Welcome to welcome to the fam. I love how it's like we actually get to see them when they're part of the super fam too. It moves past just being like a name on a screen to actually getting to know the person. Eric, you have the individual immunity necklace. Oh, this always, is, you can give it everybody knows this moment. To. As always, you can give it up to somebody if you choose to. Oh, I remember watching this live. Otherwise, it is yours and you are safe tonight. Is he going to give it up to somebody? This is a very tough uh. decision for me. It's the worst things. thing you could ever do on Survivor, guys. Say, you know, you guys ever get on the show, so do not give up immunity. I want to give individual immunity to Natalie. Oh, I remember that! Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I was screaming from home. Look, look at the shocking from everybody. We were dying. What an idiot. Thirteenth person voted out in the sixth member of our jury, Eric. Oh, now. so he got himself voted out for that dumb move. You guys drive me crazy. Idiot. Idiot. There's a reason why it's outwit, outlast, outplay. He got just outwitted. That was the stupidest thing you could have done. You should never give that away. That's the one of the most powerful things that you can have to save yourself. Where do you think this ranks in Jeff's top 10 survivor moments? Um, I think it might be number four. I'm going to say... Seven. It's a pretty crazy, ruthless moment that is just like really stands out. So I'll put that as number four. I'm putting it at three right now. I remember this episode vividly and I'm pretty sure my neighbors could hear me screaming. I will now read the votes. The winner of Survivor Fans versus Famous. Hey, Cochran, let's go. I was voting for him. Fan versus Favorites is one of the favorite seasons. Cochran was the hero that we deserve. People underestimate those folks. They might be nerdy looking, you know, but they are very intelligent. I don't know why Jeff loves Cochran. I mean, maybe it's just because, like, he's so out of his element out there. You never know who's going to win this. And it, it has nothing to do with, you know, one thing or another. It's different every single season, which is why it's so... Awesome. I'm gonna put it six right now. I'll put him at nine. I loved Cochran. That's going number one. He likes Cochran so much, I'd say number five. Huh? <gasps> oh, this guy's so douchey. She died, dude. That's so sad. Did you get the letter? This is an old one. It was either gonna be my buddy or my grandmother coming, and uh, my grandmother's not here for a reason. Oh, he's not even that good of an actor. Like, I can make myself cry if I need to. That was a brilliant Wait. performance, sir. Like that? Yeah, Holy crap! I don't remember this at all. That is so cold! My grandmother's sitting home watching Jerry Springer right now. <laughs> My grandmother's sitting home watching Jerry Springer right now. What a tool. I just think it's bad. That's bad juju. You don't say your grandma died. This is what made, made um, Bear play one of the... Uh, Greatest survivor villains ever. This is a game for a million dollars. I have one chance in my life at this. 
you should take every single advantage possible. If you don't, you're a fool. He's right about that. You cannot be honest <laughs> by playing this game. I can't believe this is actually one of Probes' top 10. I felt so bad for him for a second, and then he straight up played them. I'm gonna put that as number one. I'm putting it as one. Number seven, that was still like a really big moment. It's funny, it says Johnny fair play, but that was no fair play. I'll read the votes. Oh, Sandra. She came back once or twice. First vote. I still get nervous at this time. First vote. I remember her. She was kind of a tough cookie. The winner of Survivor Pro Life. Yay! She's so dope. Good job, Sandra. Harvardy. Russell. See, this one was hard because it was Sandra. like a bunch of favorites. Sandra. One vote Harvardy, one vote Sandra. The winner of Survivor Heroes vs. Sandra. She's got to be like the best Survivor player ever because how can you win twice, you know? It's so hard to win Survivor once. I feel like if a winner came to play the game, everyone would want to vote them out immediately. So the fact that she stayed around till the very end and won, that's awesome. You have to know how to survive. You have to know how to get to those physical competitions and it, she's a beast. Right now, I'm gonna actually put it at number 10. For Jeff, I'd probably put it number six. Number 10. Nine, Sandra wins twice. Oh my gosh, the buoy challenge. Their challenges are so difficult, 11 hours. 11 hours? I, I couldn't even sleep for 11 hours. I would be shaking and be down in 40 minutes. This is the one challenge I would never do. I'm so bad at balancing. This is not up there for Jeff, come on. This is like number eight or nine. Okay, I have a solution. I'll dive right now if you take Katie. Time to make a deal. I said all along that friendship was more important. I feel like the longer we sit up here, the more and more I feel like a, a traitor to that and a traitor to myself. Oh my yeah. word. Oh my god. 12 hours. Yeah. Tom wins final immunity. <laughs> Jeff is like, I'm so done with this. Can we just go? So this challenge holds the record for longest challenge ever, clocking in at nearly 12 hours. That's crazy. Jeff was like, oh, you just jump in, dude. It's all I can think is like all the poor people who had to work. <laughs> They're like, please just jump off. It's memorable, but it's awful. So I'm putting it at the bottom. He's probably gonna rank this pretty high. Number four. Number four. I think this is the type of thing that Jeff remembers experiencing himself. Boston Rob. It's like Boston Tom. Boston Rob, my boy! First vote, Rob. Oh, I love him. He one of those that I love to hate in the beginning, but like as each one came through, I kind of liked him a little bit more. He loves Boston Rob more than Concord, probably. He loves Boston Rob. The winner of Survivor Redemption Island, Rob. Let's go! Yeah! So Boston Rob is a fan favorite who also helped his now wife Amber yes. win her own season in season yes. eight Survivor All-Stars. I love their story. Have little Survivor babies and everything. They're uh, the game show is junkies. They've yeah. done the rounds. And they've done uh, Amazing Race. I give them an eight. Number seven. Jeff loves Rob and I'll give it a number two. 42 days. Dude, props intros are the greatest thing. I live for them. One survivor. Iconic. He gets to be fancy. Wow, look at Jeff. 16 people, one survivor. It's been so cool to see his evolution too. 39 days. I think these intros are really cool because I mean, he looks so relaxed on a plane, on a boat. Man. Always the same zoom out, it's amazing. I wonder if he ever flubs his line. And he's like, 36, what number is it? How many do we have? It's the best part of the show. I'll watch it just for that moment because of those crazy intros. Put it at seven. Eight. Probes, you're going to number 10. Like, calm down. It's cute, but it, it ain't no Johnny Fairplay, I'll tell you that right now. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Here's for Villains was one of my favorite seasons. You know what, Jeff? Oh, I remember this. This is so sick. Sandra, not for you. Hit them all. Let's go. I would just like to increase our odds. Pull out another. Three. <laughs> that one's for you, too. Damn it. Any votes cast for Sandra or Jerry will not count. 
What a bees, woman power. You can tell how stressed everyone is because when the person who everyone's gonna vote for has an immunity idol, you feel like you could be literally getting voted out. So in this scene, Parvati took a huge risk and changed the game here by playing two immunity idols Neither of them for herself. Yeah, oh my gosh. It's a crazy villain move. She knows that if one of them gets knocked out, then she, they're just gonna dwindle. Number one. I'm gonna put this as two for now. Five for now. That was good. Mick, Natalie, Russ. They should look different. I will now read the votes. Rattle. Oh, she's gotta bump it in. That's how old this is. For Natalie. Russell. He was the biggest snake, and it was awesome. The winner of Survivor Samoa. Russell, he was he was a very uh, divisive character. Poverty. Russell. Sam. Would it kill you to smile? He looks pathetic. I'm sorry. He doesn't look like a winner. First vote. Poverty. Not Russell. Sandra. <laughs> One vote Russell Hans, you think people are gonna vote for you, man? You played a dirty game. The winner of Survivor Heroes vs. Oh my god. Poor Russell. He's so close, but so far. He's too smart for his own good. And I feel like he manipulates a lot of people and makes people feel used. And they're the ones that are gonna end up voting for you in the end. You have to have some people on your side. And he was just backstabbing everybody left and right. He's the type of player who is really good at pushing buttons. But obviously, he's also the type of person where people feel like they need him. I can't be number one on Jeff's list, so it's gotta be, for me, 10. This is gonna go lower, bummed right now, I'm just gonna put on five. Number 10. Russell Hanch just leaves a sour taste in your mouth. This island is pretty much full of only two things. Yep, something from season one. Snakes and rats. So intense. And in the end of Mother Nature, we have Richard the Snake, who knowingly went after prey, and Kelly, who turned into the rat. Dang! Around like, Damn, that Sue! Island, that ran around like the rats do on this island. Kelly is not having it. I feel we owe it to the- This is actually very iconic for the first season of Survivor. To let it be in the end the way Mother Nature intended it to be. Is this a horror movie? For the snake to eat the rat. She had a ghost rider on that island, for sure. Four is a good space for that. Yeah, cause that, even I remember that one. That's a very comfortable in my number eight spot. It's gonna end up as my number one. Sue's so speech at number one. This is Jeff's list, and it's sentimental. It's the first season, it's a big speech. It paved the way. Yeah, it's number one. I actually remember going to a like reunion party, and Sue was there, and everybody got this like, oh, oh there's Sue, there's Sue. She's a famous for the, the rat speech. So now that you've watched through all of these, we're gonna give you a chance to make changes. Let us know when you're locked. Remember, you get two points for every answer you get correct, and one point for every answer you're only one off for. Okay, so. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep Sue. I'm gonna move Eric up to two. I'm definitely changing Sue, cause she ain't no seven, that's for dang sure. Number nine, I'm going to make Russell loses. I'd be so mad if I changed one and it was correct. I think I should just go with my initial instinct. So here is the actual order going from 10 to one. Remember, if you get it right on the dot, it's two and just one away, it's one point. <laughs> I probably bombed this pretty bad. Coming in at number 10 is Jeff Probst's intro. Oh, wow, way off. I knew he would make himself last. All right, good, yay. <laughs> okay, yay! You better put yourself at number 10, calm down. You got the biggest check out of all of them. Coming in at number nine, Boston Raw wins. That was seven. Okay, well, I was kind of far off from that. What? Oh, that was my number three. That's gonna really mess up stuff. Coming in at number eight is the buoy challenge from season 10. I got that wrong. Seven. So close. Okay, I'm off one. Coming in at number seven, Sandra wins twice. What? That's my number two. Oh, I should have flip-flopped him. Dang it. Yes, I did that one correct. Coming in at number six, is Johnny Fairplay lies about grandma. Oh, okay, I got number two instead. Shut up, really? Everyone that's ever even heard of the show knows this play. Oh, you're kidding, I put it right up to the top. That's the one, first thing that comes to mind when I think of Survivor is grandma died. Coming at number five, Russell loses back to back. Really? I thought that I had that at two. I thought that would be higher. I was close, Jeff. Loser! See, loser! Five! I got him! Coming in at number four, Parvati plays two idols. <gasps> 
That was four? Wow, I had that as number one. I was way off on that one again. I put it as number eight. Let's go, that's two points. Coming in at number three is Cochrane Wins season 26. Really? <laughs> Need to call Jeff on that one. Oh, I had that as number three. I knew it. I knew that was a top three. Coming in at number two is Eric Gives Up Immunity. I don't put that. Oh, yeah. I put that at number 10, so I was way off. I have it on three. I did pretty damn good. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, it still pisses me off. I remember I'm coming back the next season. He's like, I'm never giving an idol again. Which means number one, Jeff's top favorite moment in Survivor history is season one of the series featuring Sue Hawk's speech. Yay, I got that one right. The only one I got entirely right, but I feel like that's the most important. See, he likes storytellers. Also, that speech was fire. You gotta put something from season one. On as like the number one because it's like I mean that's a foundation I went on when I was like 21 and you know it's just like a, a big eye-opener for me anyways in terms of like things that you need to appreciate in life life is beautiful and you gotta you gotta have fun with it you know thanks for watching this episode of generations react shout out to Santan subscribe and hit the bell or we'll vote you off the island the tribe has spoken Goodbye. If you'd like to support FB and vote on more topics like this one, click the join button over on the React channel to become a member of our super fam. Check out the links in the description below for more info. Bye.